Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as promised, today I'm going to be unboxing my brand new handbag from Hermes Paris that I scored on my recent trip to Europe. And yes, it is a Birkin or a Kelly as you can see from the title and it is my very first Hermes handbag. So I am so excited. A lot of you guys already know that to get a Birkin or a Kelly, it's not as easy as just walking into an Hermes boutique and asking for one. They do make you jump through some hoops to get one of these bags. So I'm going to be showing you exactly what I bought, why I decided to go with this color combination that was presented to me. And I'm also going to share really briefly my experience on getting an appointment and how I ended up being offered a bag in Hermes, which sounds ridiculous. I know you're spending your own money, but this is the marketing game that Hermes plays and we all fall for it. And I'm one of them. And if you guys are interested in getting one of these bags, then maybe my story is helpful. For others that might think this is ridiculous, this video is not really for you. This video is more for those people who are interested in these handbags who might find my story helpful. And I want to quickly tell you that this is my experience only. And I think there is is a huge variation between sales associates, between stores and from person to person. So this is purely anecdotal. This is exactly how it happened for me, but by no means I'm telling you this is what you need to do or this is what Hermes rules are. So I just want to preface this video by saying, just take my story with a pinch of salt. And I am wearing the exact same outfit as my previous video because I thought this outfit would go perfectly with my new bag. And besides, I would find any excuse to keep wearing this cutest play suit that I just picked up from Zimmerman. So I'm in love with this outfit and any excuse to wear it again and again. So now I'm gonna quickly tell you my story on how I ended up getting this bag. If you guys just want to see the unboxing and you're not really interested in my story, then I'll leave a timestamp on on screen so you can just skip right to the unboxing. But for those of you who are interested or you're planning on going to Paris sometime soon and you kind of want to know how my process was, then hopefully this will be enjoyable for you. So I bought my particular bag from the Mothership store, which is the Fabolg store. And for any of these stores, you guys may already be aware that you do actually need an appointment to see a sales associate who works in the leather goods section. So making an appointment in itself is really competitive. And once you get an appointment, you get assigned to an essay at a particular time, but that doesn't mean that you're guaranteed to score a bag. It just depends on the stock on the day and whatever the salesperson really decides to show you. So even if you have an appointment, you can actually be told they don't have any Birkins or Kellys in the preferences you like or no Birkins and Kellys at all. And it was a little bit tough for me because the week that I was in Paris, it was Paris Fashion Week. And a lot of people have said, don't go during Fashion Week because the stocks will be really low and competition will be really high. But I wasn't gonna really change my trip around just for that so I just decided to try my luck anyway. So for the Fabolg store you do need to apply to get an appointment the day before you're planning on going. So if you do want an appointment for a Tuesday then you need to go on the Hermes Fabolg website on Monday during the opening hours of the Fabolg store which is 10 30 to 6 30 p.m. and you need to leave your details and submit your application and you'll get notified about 7 30 in the evening whether you were successful getting an appointment or not. So I hear that over a thousand people apply every single day and they only have a couple of hundred spots. So it's a lottery system where people just get randomly selected to be given appointments. And for the other two stores, the Severus and George Fifth, you don't need to apply online, but you need to go really early in the morning before store opening time, preferably line up and you'll be assigned to a sales associate on that day. So it's still a physical lineup system. So that's how these appointments work. So I was in Paris for about eight days and for the first three or four days, I just did a lot of sightseeing and all I did was I just kept submitting online applications for the Fabolg store and I was unsuccessful the first three days. And then the last four days, I was a little bit more active in trying to get an appointment. And I was also with my bestie in Paris and she was also wanting to get an Hermes Birkin or a Kelly. So we did the whole application process together, which made the process a lot more fun. And we didn't really care whether we got a bag or not because the process was just fun. We're having a good time. So I wasn't gonna be really upset if I don't get a bag or anything, but I thought I'm in Paris anyway and there's probably more stock so let me just give it a go and that's exactly how my bestie felt. So I was leaving Paris on the Thursday evening so from that Monday to Thursday 
we spent a little bit more time trying to get an appointment. So Monday we applied online again, still unsuccessful. So that was my fourth attempt. On Tuesday, my bestie and I decided to go into the Faborg store and just browse and we wanted a couple of things anyway. So we were just gonna, you know, talk to sales associate and if we can just ask them if there's anything we can do because we've been trying so many times and we were just unable to get an appointment. But we weren't gonna be pushy or anything because I'm sure a lot of people come and ask. So on the Tuesday, we went in, we love our shoes. So we were stuck in the shoe section. I was looking at some boots and um, you already saw my previous unboxing and you saw what I picked up from Hermes um, in terms of the shoes. So I ended up picking up two pairs of shoes and my bestie ended up picking up a few pairs of shoes. And we got to talking with our sales associate, which was a lovely lady. We were just saying, oh, we've been trying so many times and we haven't been able to get an appointment. And the sales lady said, yeah, it's fashion week, so it's really, really busy. So you guys are a little bit unlucky that you came during this time. And we were like, yeah, we know, but it'll be really lovely to at least get an opportunity. And after about half an hour or so of talking with the salesperson, she actually said, you know what, you guys have been trying so many times. Let me go and ask the manager if there's any cancellations or anything. So out of that encounter, we were able to successfully get an appointment. So that appointment was for my bestie for the next morning. So now on Wednesday morning, I take along to my bestie's appointment. Now this appointment was unsuccessful. The salesperson that my bestie had said there's no Birkins or Kellys that day. But later on, she offered my bestie another appointment tomorrow, which would have been the Thursday. So my bestie ended up getting a bag anyway. But during that conversation, my bestie was pointing to me going, oh, my friend's also been trying so many times online to get an appointment, but she has been unsuccessful and she's tried six or seven times. Is there anything you can do? And this lovely sales lady actually said, you can go to the concierge ladies and just show them your history on text messages because every time you apply and don't get an appointment, you get a text message. So I had a whole history of seven rejections or something like that. So the sales lady told me, go to this concierge lady, show them your text message history and just ask them if they've got any cancellations today or tomorrow and they may be able to fit you. I'm not sure whether I should be sharing this online, but I think it's worth a go. If you're in Paris and you're leaving the next day and you haven't been able to get an appointment, then I think it's worth an ask. Anyway, so I go up to the concierge ladies and show them the text messages and one of the ladies was like, well, we have a cancellation at four o'clock. She wasn't really warm or welcoming or anything like that, but she did say, yep, you can come at four o'clock today. Someone canceled. So I was like, okay, well, I'll come at four o'clock. And I said, is there anything tomorrow? She's like, no, 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 no. We don't know who's going to cancel the day before. So yeah, four o'clock today. So I said, yes, put me down for four o'clock and I'll come. So four o'clock rolls around and I go into the store and I wait about 20 minutes. So around 4.20, I meet my sales associate which was a lovely lady from the homeware department. She actually told me, you're my first client of the day for a bag because I actually normally work in the homeware department, but the leather goods section was so busy today, I was asked to help. So I will try my best to you know, help you. She was really lovely, but at the back of my mind, I was thinking, oh, she's not from the bag department. I don't know whether this is a good thing or not because she may not be able to get me a bag. Anyway, so then she says, let's go upstairs. Let's have a seat in the home department, which was actually really lovely away from all the busyness. So I sat down at a really lovely table and uh, we were just chatting. I was telling her, oh yeah, I'm so excited to have this appointment because I tried six times previously and I didn't get an appointment, but the lovely lady, you know, managed to fit me in today and the sales lady was like oh that's really really nice where'd you come from so I said I'm from Australia and I just really love to you know be able to get something from Paris before I go home because you know Sydney doesn't get a lot of stock and I've been working with my sales associate back home trying to get a Birkin or a Kelly but you know I haven't got one yet and it'll be really lovely to be able to go home with a bag oh by the way I was alone because my bestie had another appointment somewhere so I actually went by myself and a lot of people actually think that going with someone is better, like a family member, a partner or someone. But I actually went by myself and ended up walking out with a bag. So I don't think it really matters as long as you can really communicate with your salesperson. So then she was like, so what is it that you're after? I said, obviously a Birkin or a Kelly. And I was like, you probably hear that all the time. So I told her my list of preferences, which you guys know if you watch my updated luxury wish list for this year, I want 
wanted a Birkin size 30 or Kelly size 25 or 28 and the color preferences were cray or navy or something neutral so I just told her that and she said hardware and I said hardwares I'm open to there's such a minimal amount of hardware on these bags I don't mind if it's palladium or gold so then she goes it's been fashion week so this is like the fifth time that I hear that I may not have any luck because it has been fashion week and stock's been really low so then she goes I will try my best to satisfy but I just can't promise you anything and I said I completely understand because I am sure that you know you get so many requests and I already know that you don't always you know walk out with the bag that you want so all I can ask is you know if you can try to find one that might suit me that'll be really really great so then she goes away and she's gone for about 30 minutes and I was okay with it because I've heard from people that you know these sales associates go away for like 20-30 minutes and then when they come back they might still come back empty-handed anyway so I was just sipping on my tea and 30 minutes later she comes back with a big box and a little box so I was thinking oh I don't know whether that's still a Kelly or a Birkin because she might just have another bag in there because I've seen that happen before and then she goes to me come with me we do need to find a private room and I was thinking, oh, she brought me one of the bags. But then I was still thinking it may be a crazy color or, you know, something that I'm not 100% sure about. But, you know, at least I have a chance here. So I go into a private room in the fine jewelry section on level two, I think it was. And I go into private room with her and she goes, so it is a Birkin or a Kelly, but I couldn't find any color that you asked for. I was like, that's okay. Let's take a look at what it is that we have. And she goes, but I think you'll like it. And I think it is a very good one. And I said, okay, I'm excited. So I'm just gonna open it to show you exactly what she brought me. So obviously I took it home and I also bought a Twilly with it, which I'll show you in a minute. So let's do the unboxing now. This is not a true unboxing by the way, because I did need to carry this all the way home from Paris. So I already unboxed it. When I did unbox it in the hotel room, my bestie recorded my unboxing. So I'm gonna leave it somewhere here so you can see the original unboxing. But I just wanted to box it back up. Now, the tissue papers and everything inside is not in the best condition because I had to put the box and the tissue papers and everything in my check-in luggage. Anyway, so let's get into the bag, box. So I can show you exactly what I picked up. And it is not those colors that were on my wish list, but I'm very, very happy with it. And I'll also tell you exactly why I was really happy to still pick this one up, although it wasn't on my wish list. So as you can see, the tissue paper is not in the greatest of conditions, which I'm okay with because at least I got to bring everything home. So as you can see, the bag is in there. So there is my bag and inside we have this pillow made of tissue papers to set the handles of the bag on and apparently that is the best way to store the bag and there are a couple of other items in the box so this is the raincoat that goes over the bag in case of rain so Hermes recommends that you have it in your bag at all times and cover the bag and the associate actually told me that you can ask for another one at any time. So that's good. And there is also the care book code in there. Now let me put the box down so I can show you the actual bag. So here is my brand new bag, my very first Birkin or a Kelly. And to show you guys what I got, I'm so excited. It's black <laughs> and you can see two handles. So you know that it is a Birkin, not a Kelly. And to show you guys, I picked up a Birkin in a size 30 with palladium hardware in the color black. And the leather is called Vogue Jonathan. Now I've never 
heard of this leather before but I do tend to like smooth leathers as opposed to grained leathers I mean I would go for the grained leathers such as Togo and things like that in a heartbeat as well because they will wear a bit better but solely on aesthetics I do love the smooth leather look and when she took this out I was like oh my gosh I actually really love it and you can never go wrong with black and I know initially I said I want a cream color or a navy color or something like that but what also changed my mind while I was in Europe is that I was in London before I was in Paris and I actually checked down an Hermes store near Harrods. I don't know exactly the location, but I was walking to Harrods and I saw the Hermes store. And so my bestie and I actually went into the Hermes store and they actually had some Kellys and Birkins for display. And they actually had a Birkin 30 in this color combination, but in the Epsom leather. And they also had the Kelly 25 in the box leather with the Palladium hardware as well in the black. So I tried both of them on and I was thinking, I actually really like the black and silver look. And from that point, I was thinking if I get offered a black and silver, I'll be really open to that so when my lovely sales associate pulled this out of the box I was thinking oh my gosh premonition uh, it's just meant to be and you guys know that I have my black boots with the Kelly buckle on the side which I'll also insert a photo of and I just thought oh my gosh this will go so well with my boots and my black orange sandals as well so when I saw this I was thinking oh it's coming full circle in the end I think this was a better choice than going for cream because now I know how much I would have babied the cream one. I know it's a light color. And I said in that wishlist video, I don't mind you know, using a lighter color because it looks so lovely, but I'm glad that I stuck with the darker color as my first bag. I'm still really wanting a cream one, but now I'm thinking, you know what? I'm glad at least my first one's this one. So maybe the second one can be a lighter color. So that is why I decided to say yes to this bag. Now I'm just going to open the bag up and show you what the bag looks like on the inside. There was also some air papers in there to keep the shape. I also had to take it out so that I just have less things to bring back. So I took the air paper out, but I can always buy a new air paper or like a bag puff or something like that to keep its shape. So it opens like this. I'm going to take the felt off. I actually love the Birkin bag open like this a lot more. I think that looks a lot more chic. So that is my bag with the flap open. And just to quickly give you a tour of the bag, you can see the front of the bag right there. It says Hermes Paris made in France right there. There are some protective stickers on the hardware, which I'll take off eventually. And the back of the bag is just plain black. And the bottom, you've got the four feet. And the interior is obviously fully leather lined. As you can see, there's one slip pocket and there is also a zipper pocket on the back side, as you can see right there. And there is also the key clochette in there. Right there, and I'm going to attach it to one of the handles. So you just wrap it around, and there is a little slit right here. So you just feed the key bell through there. What a cute little decoration or a charm to the bag. So that is my very first MS Birkin bag, and I am so excited. I'm gonna do some modeling shots in a minute as well. Oh, and with the leather, apparently the Bo Jonathan is a new type of leather that Hermes introduced last year. So there's not a ton of resources out there on the internet. I found like one thread on the purse forum on this leather. From my discussion with the sales associates and from my research from the limited resources out there, it seems like this leather is very similar to the Swift leather that Hermes does, but a little bit more durable in terms of scratch resistance. Now I'll just quickly show you some modeling shots. So that is the bag on the crook of my arm. For reference, I am 164 centimeters tall. And the bag is actually a really good size for me, I think. I did consider the size 25, but I just wanted a more classic size for my very first Birkin. And I think 30 has a more classic look while not being too oversized. And you can also carry it handheld. And 
but it looks really classy like that as well. And I just think that the silver hardware is really fresh with the black. So it will go with a lot of my outfits. And you can see why I wanted to wear this play suit again, because it just goes perfectly with my new bag. So that was the unboxing of my brand new handbag from Hermes. If you haven't checked out my Europe haul video of the other items I picked up while I was in Europe, I'll leave it somewhere on screen so do check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video and found some of my information helpful. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. As always, thank you so much for watching and spending some of your precious time with me today and I can't wait to see you again soon in my next video. Bye guys!